Chief Pius Akinye Lure, Chairman of the Nigerian National Petroleum Corporation, and an APC Chief Tens urge Nigerians to return to farming to address food scarcity during an event in Idanre, Ondo State. He emphasized that farming is crucial to avoid the high cost of food importation and stress the need for adequate security to protect farmers. The event of, organized by the Aden Ray Development Assembly celebrated notable community members under State Governor Loki Ayidatwa. A special guest praised Akinye Lure for his contribution and humanitarian services. The event's chairman, Mayokon Akimoladun, highlights the importance of honoring past and present community heroes. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Akin said that people Nigerians should go, Nigerians, should go back, back to, to farm farming. to be able to address food scarcity. Uh, as of uh, the statistics we have so far, I'm talking about just a particular state, Castina, uh, that, uh, about 12 to 23 farmers have been killed. The farms are there. The crops are in the farms, the ones that were already planted. How did they go back to a farm when they have not addressed the issue of insecurity? You know that has men, not just in the northern part of Nigeria, even over here in Delta states, they were complaining so last week what uh, the has men are doing in the farm, chasing the farmers out. So he just coming out to say Nigerians should go back to farm. Did they tell him that they do not want to farm anymore or they are begging them to cop the issue of insecurity? He's a member of the ruling party. I think he's a little bit political and economical with the truth. Because rather than telling us about security, telling he's a member of the ruling party, he should tell his people when they go to meeting, party meeting, what do they discuss? State of the nation. Shouldn't that be what parties discuss? Rather than coming to tell us about security issues and challenges here, he should channel. The people should be the one telling him what they are facing. And since he is a member of the ruling party, so big to be appointed into the position for which they are celebrating him. Mm. He should tell the government, which he is a part of, the challenges we are having. You can't tell people to go back to farm when people will farm and they cannot harvest it. There are videos all over the place that shows cattles, you know, destroying, destroying people's crops. crops. Yeah. And Beyond that, beyond the issue of cattle, the issue of security and insecurity, people like you said have been killed in their farm. He need not tell us this for crying out loud. He should tell it to the government to which he is a part. We should be the one telling him and his government to provide security for people, to have a comprehensive food security program that will, that will help development of it. It's not enough to go back to, to land as it were. Issues of security have to be dealt with. Issues of food security, like where farmers have harvest, even if they have excessive harvest now, where are those harvests going to be? Many times before these issues come up, we see food stuff getting spots along the road and along market where you see perishable food items because there is nowhere to preserve them. So him and his government should do the needful. So you, you think that uh, uh, Chiva can not know about the issue of insecurity maybe we in have the to, country, maybe, especially in the farm? Maybe we have to remind him not just of the issue of insecurity, but also remind him that he is part of those we are looking up to to fix it, since it is his party that is in power. So they should do the needful and save us the heteorics. Is it about the, him being in the ruling party? Or? It's the ruling party, the party in government. They, are, they have the responsibility of providing security. That's the responsibility of government. So should, that's not exactly my responsibility. What's responsibility? The government. He's part of it. That's his party. And again, let's even go here. What if the government are trying to make sure that oh, the public security Oh, let's stop this issue of government trying. What we need is results. It's not coming to tell us government is trying. Government is trying. Trying what? <laughs> Let them provide security. But don't you think that we are the one doing ourselves? No, I don't think so. No, I don't think so. The government are the one killing people? A thousand people? times, well, I don't think so. The government may not be killing people directly, but the government is the one that has the duty of providing security. Every other thing is an excuse. But remember you said something when we, were talk when we um, um, handled the first story. 
you said that the issue of, um, issue of uh, economic challenges in the country shouldn't be an excuse why parents should be selling their children. Or Absolutely. Uh, and uh, then, okay, so then, whatever the governments are doing shouldn't be an excuse why brothers should be killing brothers because we are killing ourselves. Governments, even those people that have been killed, um, the hardship may not be an excuse why that person has been killed. It may not be a justifiable reason, mm. but the government also, the government and society failed the person that has been killed because society and government in particular have the responsibility of protecting lives and property. So to the extent that even one person has been killed, it falls back to government not being able to do what they should do. Now, you may say they have put in their best. Maybe yes, maybe no. But the truth remains that to that guy who has died or who has suffered injustice or harm, government in that particular case failed that person. And then um, uh, looking at the issue of technology, we know that in other countries, I mean, if you watch it online, farming seems very easy. Yeah, absolutely. And so interesting. Absolutely. But coming over here, is it about shovel and hole that we want? Because we do not have what it takes to do a large production here. When they're talking about farming, it's not the one we are planting in the backyard. It's not what we are planting in a compound. We are talking about a large scale where now, they can produce you are, enough. You are coming back to what, I, what I'm saying about yeah. so, and so how, how, the how do they handle that? If, if, if they have a comprehensive food security and agricultural development program, the issue of um, hose and, and hose and other um, AKE tools will not be coming in. What should be talking about at this stage is how people can assess this um, these items of mechanized farming. We should be thinking of mechanized farming. See, the countries that have food security, it's not because 100% of their citizens are into ag agriculture. Mm -hmm. It's not even because 50% or 40 just a few of their citizens, but they go into mechanized farming. And most of these things didn't just happen. There is a leadership side of, of it. So until and unless the leadership does what is right, we will keep hearing this type of story. But it becomes more disturbing when the story is coming from those in power who we should be telling that we should be telling to fix the security now telling us that oh security is the issue. We know security is the issue. We know, we know, we know. We are not doubting that. But we are looking up to you as part of the government to fix it. And then again, even if the machines are being purchased, how will it get to the farmers? Even if it gets to the farmers, what is the possibility? <laughs> I mean, if, if the owner of the equipment is not safe, what's the possibility that those equipment will be safe? An attempt to get some of these things. We know how some of these things have been politicized in the past. You know, I, I told you something that uh, somewhere in Delta State, uh, government home built hospital is now... Uh, being pleased by a deity, yeah, according to what they put, they put there, because according to them, the equipment that the government bought in the building, people are, I mean, throwing it out. They well, are, we, they are we, stealing we, it. We, we, we see the identification of our security every on the road. I mean, the fetish nature of our security, um, maybe on, on the road when you're traveling on the highways, you see some security persons, maybe not necessarily the... Um, the regular po po police members, some of these um, vigilante groups, you see their shrines on the road beside them. Does that work? Yeah. If it works, it's a different thing, but that's what the guy believes and he put it there. <laughs> but the, the funny thing is that some of these um, vigilante groups are recognized by various state or government agencies and to think that they have to introduce uh, something that is religious into a secular system is worrisome. Anyways, we are not deviating, but don't you think that that is done because they do not have the required uh, necessary uh, firearms to fight because how do you send someone to go and confront people with AK-47 and then you have a pistol in your hands? That could be part of it, not having the required equipment, um, the required uh, facilities or equipment to fight, but also it's also the belief system. But the, the, the concern here is that if those people are government agents of any type, if they are vigilante approved by any type, I mean, even if they believe in those things, it shouldn't be displayed on the road. They can be kept aside some somewhere yeah it is what the guy believes that gives him protection maybe he believes in that more than he believes in whatever the government gives him or the community so will you say that doing that because uh, a lot of persons seems to be moved by what they see 
So if they are only told that this is what these people are doing, they might not take it seriously. But when they see something like that, they maybe to scare them away, even it, if it's not working. It could be, but whatever the case is, it is not a good sight. Each time I've seen it, it is not a good sight. But the government so, and officials, they have traveled on that road. They've been traveling on this particular route that they, these people, be it community, be it uh, on the major road or thereabouts. And once or twice, I, um, maybe they must have seen this thing. So why have the, they not questioned it? Def definitely they have seen it. You know, it goes back to what I keep saying. There is a failure in our system. Everybody looks at everything. I, I'm, I don't... I don't really quarrel with those guys if that's what they believe in, but for bringing it into public view, I, I, I mean, you are rendering a public mm. service. You shouldn't... Um, that should be your private life. Okay, let's come back to this um, food um, security. And looking at it, uh, the majority of those farming, I don't know if you go to north, if you have been there, you will realize that there are people from... Uh, 40, 50, 60, 70. And then if you're talking about mechanized farming, it's not just about the machine. We need uh, someone that is capable to operate the machine. And you know that majority of our youth want fast money. Nobody wants to go to farm. So how are they going to balance an elderly people farming with a machine? Because there are some that you need strength to actually pull it. Uh, how are we going to balance this? No, as youth are not ready the to thing farm? is that in other parts of the world where mechanized farming has been successful, you have elderly people, what you call elderly people, okay. into agricultural business. Mm. They may not be, they don't need to be the one operating. So much as you can rule out the need for them to know how to use those ma machines, but they can always employ labor to do it. Let's have these things available first before we start making excuses for the government. Then the issue of majority of youth not wanting to get into agriculture, that may not be completely true. Yes, we know the decay in society, how everybody wants quick money, but there is still a number of people who would assess these things. Remember what I said earlier, we don't need 50% of the population okay. to go into agriculture. If we get 10% of willing youth, we have people who um, graduate from universities of agriculture every day. Of those people, if we have a number of them get into um, agriculture, not who and cutlass for me, but the mechanized for me you're talking about, mm. we, we have sufficient food in this, um, in, 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 our, in our country. Then there are also those who are not exactly students of agriculture by learning in the university who would be interested in agriculture, even if not because of food security, but because of the economic benefits mm. in it. People get into things for economic be be benefit. If they realize that farming has become beneficial economically, they it can put food on it. my table, I can sell and make money, people will get into it. Even those you think that want fast money, by the oh, time wow. most of them realize that the fast money is not fast. Mm. I actually want to fast, so I'm actually waiting for... They, they can wake up and come, I'm and come to I'm their senses. I'm waiting for the technologies to be on ground, so... The technologies are already on ground. We are, we are rather waiting for our country to okay. wake up to the reality of time. All right, I'm waiting for them. As I'm ready to farm as I am like this. That would be a very beautiful thing. A beautiful and one. I, I mean, in River State here, if we do the needful, we can go into fish farming. We should have a lot of fish farmers here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, or not even necessarily fish farmers. For fishermen who could get into the sea uh, with trawlers and get us fish. And, I'm interested in cassava. Oh, because that's beautiful. <laughs> at least cassava, the end product is Gary and Fufu. Oh, let's and look I at the last story. <laughs>